What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious. Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be doing the Captain America house. Now I really liked uh, the minion build so much that I went ahead and I just created a little world, put the minion house in it with some decoration, and then I decided to build another house. And this is my Captain America house. Now I love it. Now I don't know if you noticed the sides. This is, there's, this is just the practice world. I have the actual world, so I moved it over one, but it's not even on the sides. So this is supposed to be three. Uh, but we'll, when we build it, we'll actually have it, right? And uh, let's go take a look inside. Oh, actually, let's look around the back real quick. So this is what I came up with. I thought it looked really, really nice. Uh, but let's just go in here and we'll see what we get. It is like throwing up Captain America at you <laughs> right from the get-go. I'm just going to let you guys know that. But I really, really like uh, how this looks. Okay, so let's come upstairs. And again, we got a little bit of storage and I just really love it. Now, again, as always, you can obviously change uh, the inside how you like, but I am going uh, to show you how to do it this way. Oh, and let me just show you the top really quick. I also added that to the minion house if you wanna go ahead and change that, but look how this looks in here. I like it. You don't have to have this. When we're doing the, the roof, you could just put the slabs, but I like it with the red. I think it looks really neat. So let me just show you what you need before we switch over and build it. So you need some jungle leaves. Uh, the bone meal is just to make the stuff grow. You don't need that. You need some jungle leaves. You need the three color bed. So you need the red, the blue, and the white. You need the three color stained glass. So again, red, blue, and white. You need the three color banners, red, blue, and white. And you need three color carpet, red, blue, and white. You also need some stairs. Uh, the first time, as you can see in the window there, I used the beacon. But this time around, we're going to be using some sea lanterns. The end rod, which you can always replace if you don't have end rods, uh, you can always replace it with um, uh, just the regular, what is that called? Regular uh, fences. That's actually not a problem at all. Some flower pots. You're going to need a three color concrete, red, blue, and white. You're going to need uh, poppy seeds. You're going to need blue orchids. You're going to need some uh, azure bluets. You're going to need some chests or whatever you want for the inside. You're going to need some quartz stairs. Where, the, where did I put the stairs? Oh yeah, the stairs are on the inside. So the only place that we're actually gonna need the stairs is right here on the side. And did I put it in here? I don't know if I did. Yeah, right there and right there. That's literally the only place you're gonna need them. So you're only gonna need four of those. You're only gonna need four stairs, so it's not too bad. Uh, you're gonna need, I said the banners already, you're gonna need some quartz slabs, any kind of door of your choosing. Uh, this is the oak one. I just figured let's just keep it simple with the oak. Uh, we're gonna need for the outside. I use uh, end stone brick. So if you want to do this setup We're gonna use some end stone brick some lily pads some nether wart blocks some nether wart some soul sand azure bluets. Uh, I already said that's so water buckets and Block of quartz and you're only gonna need six blocks of quartz. That's it. So without further ado Let's get into building it. All right guys So first off if you want to do the exact thing that I have now the inside space Okay, so that's from this corner to that corner where there's no leaves is 23 this way by 19 going that way. Okay, so it's 23 wide, 19 long. But if you want to do it with the hedges, obviously it would be 25 this way by 21. Okay, now the way I did the hedges was very simple. I just put the soul sand underneath with the jungle leaves uh, right on top. I just happen to like the jungle leaves. Oh, actually, I didn't use jungle leaves for that one. That's right. Uh, let's get rid of that. Sorry. It wasn't jungle leaves. It was actually acacia. It was acacia leaves. So we put the acacia there. Whoops. I was going to use jungle leaves originally, and then I changed it up. So we, we use acacia leaves for that, uh, and that's how we get that look. Okay, so it's 25 by 21 with the leaves. And then what I'd go ahead and do is I put, I just go in the middle. Okay, so you count all the way over. Go in the middle where these three are, and I put down... Uh, some end stone bricks. Okay, three across, two back. Then I leave a gap of two, and then this is where we're going to start. Okay, so just in case you want to know, so we're starting from the 25th. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so eleven hedges there, eleven hedges there, and then you got the three in the middle. Okay, then again, go to the middle, and now we can start. Okay, so we're going to put down a block of quartz there. We're going to put down two blocks of blue concrete on the side. Then we're gonna go two, um, 
two more columns of quartz going up that way. Then we're gonna go quartz there, and then another three on the back just like that, okay? For the outside, we're just gonna do three quartz slabs right there. For the inside, however, we're gonna come around and swing it around, whoops, just like so. And that should be it for the quartz slabs. Okay, just like that. Great. Now it's very similar to the build over here in terms of the actual body of the building. So we're just gonna take where this blue is, we're gonna come out diagonally one, two, and then go again diagonally and go one, two, three, four, five. five. Same thing this way, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and you get the idea all the way around. Now we're gonna double up the layer. Okay, and then right where these two diagonal blocks are, we're gonna put the same color glass. Okay, so it's gonna be too high of the blue, right on, whoops, of the blue glass, right on these little corners right here. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna take this up three. One, two, three, and then go across the top of it. So all of these sides are three, and then we're gonna cover the top of the glass. And then we're just gonna fill this in right here, just like that. Now let's take our slabs and just go across the top. And also we might as well just do the inside and then just go like that across the top. Okay, perfect, we got the base all set up. Now what we're gonna do, okay, we're just gonna make stripes five high, except for these sides right here. Okay, and we're gonna skip a space. So starting from the end with the red, go one, two, three, four, five, skip a space, five, Skip a space, five. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing here on the corners, except we're just, these, the corners are gonna be too high for now. We're gonna go one, two, after we skip. Then we skip a space, now we can go five again. One, two, three, four, five, oops. Five, skip a space, five, you get the idea. And then this is the corner, so we're gonna go one, two. So I'm gonna do that all the way around. Okay. Now coming with our white concrete, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, so we're gonna go five high on the sides, and then on the corners, we're just gonna do two high. All right, perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the corresponding color to each one of glass and put it on top. So on the corners, we're gonna go with the red first, two high with all of the reds. Okay, obviously this is where our windows are gonna be. And now we go too high with the white. And then uh, we do, we're gonna do the same thing as we did below. We're just gonna take the corresponding color and just top it off with one block. Okay, so we'll put, oops, we'll put the white there and we'll just do that all the way around. Okay, perfect, we are looking good. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do in the front, okay, and in the back. So this is the front with the door, make sure you have the right one, this is the front. We're just gonna go up one more layer with the same color, five across. So one, two, three like that with the with the red, and then the white, and then three in the middle. So one, two, make sure you use the same color, okay? And then on this corner right here, on right here, so we're gonna go red there, white there, white there, red there, okay? Same thing on this back. So first we'll go up with the red. Oops, okay? and then we'll go up with the, uh, the white, like so. Oh, I'm sorry, these, these reds you don't need, sorry. Take those reds off, it's just the white. It's just that first one. So if you're looking at it, it's the five, and then the two corners, and then we go up the three on the top. So one, two, three, just like that. Okay, perfect. Now we can go ahead and we can do our A. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our white concrete, so if we're looking at it from the front, you're gonna skip the first white, go up to the second white, go one, two, three, four, five, okay? Same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five. Go right across the center, like so, and then make sure you find the center of this one so you can just go like that, okay? Perfect, so there's our A for Captain America. Now let's go ahead and do the arms. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is do the uh, do the blue first and we're gonna do three so we're gonna come to the side okay it's five across so we're gonna go to the second row and go across here second column whatever you want to call it and go like that one two three 
do two rows of it down and then three out okay so three rows three rows out two rows down and we do white concrete now I looked at some uh, two rows of that sorry I looked at so many versions of Captain America and I decided to go with uh, this one right here though I there was a couple where he had white and blue. There was some where it was just straight up blue with the with the red armband. I just went ahead and went with this version. And then we're going to put little hands or little fingers and then one out like that. And that is for the, his gloves that have the, those um, like ridges on the side of them. Okay, and then we can do the same thing on this side. Beautiful. All right, so while we're here, why don't we go ahead and do his feet? So again, we're going to come from, here's the front. Okay, here's that first blue block. Go next to it and go one, two, then one, two, one, two, and one, two. Fill it in. And then you're gonna cover, oops, you're gonna double up that row and that row and then put two in the front like that. Okay, same thing on this side. Find that first blue block, put red next to it and do, whoops, and do two all the way around like so. And then go that way, that way, and that way beautiful all right now it's really starting to take shape okay now let's go ahead and do the top so what we're going to go ahead and do is locate this middle one right here go down next to it like so and then come out six from that one two three four five six same thing on the other side we're going to go one two three four five six find the middle on the opposite side put a block on uh, a half slab there and then put a half slab next to it like that and then come out one, two, three, four, five, six. And same thing on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. Now all we're gonna do is just build our little wall going up, our little roof going up. So next to it, go next, then up, next, oops. Next to it, up, next to it, up, next to it, up. And then just kind of figure out where the center is next to it, up, and it, the center should be that red, and then up. Same thing on this side. Next to it, up, next to it, up. All you're doing is we're just making a stair step pattern going all the way up. All right, beautiful. Looking good, looking good. Then do the back, the same thing. Next to it up. You guys get the point. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to connect it. Oh, you know what? We actually could have left those right on. This is where we're going to make, if you want to have the stripes, this is where we're going to, where we're going to add the stripes because it has to be the full blocks. See how these are full blocks? And these are the two halves. Like if we break it, it's still a half slab there. If we break this one, it's not. Oops. Okay. So that's a full block. So we're going to do it on a full block level. This is if you want to add those stripes. So then what we're going to do, uh, we're going to put a red block here. Yeah, red block there. Then we're going to do the top. Red, whoops. Red block. Quartz slab on the top. Red block. Quartz slab. You guys get the point, right? You're gonna candy stripe it going across. And then right there and there. Boom. Again, you don't have to do this, I just like it. So the next row, we could just connect the slabs going all the way across, because it's the half slab. And now we're back to the full block again. So you have the full block there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the rest. Make sure you alternate, so it would be red, just all half slabs, red alternating, all half slabs, and then the top is gonna be red and then I'll have slabs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so there we go. I was just checking to see how it looked. I actually never never looked at the red up there I kind of like that that looks pretty cool all right so now let's go ahead and do the inside that way just in case you don't want to do the whole outside you can at least have the inside done all right so first and foremost what we're going to do is we're going to take our white concrete put them really quick in this corner and then let's just light it up in here just so we have a little bit of light same thing in this see how they have this middle piece put the white concrete and then just light it up okay and now we're going to go ahead Where's our, here we go. Take our sea lanterns. Now again, you can use beacons. I, I really do like the beacons. I just wanted to make it look a little bit more practical just in case not everybody has a ton of beacons on around. Uh, you don't really have to put this here because you're gonna have the couches on top. I just like to know 
that the floor is done. So just go ahead and fill in the whole floor with white concrete. Okay, now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna do some red couches. So we're gonna put in this corner right here, so this is when you walk in to your left, you're gonna put the red like that. So we're gonna go across the back, one, two, three, four, five, give two arms for the end, and then go like that, okay? Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of decoration to the wall. So we're gonna take some white banner, okay? And starting from this two blocks right above the corner here on that top block, put one there, and then we're just gonna go diagonally up and then come back diagonally down. And I wanted it to kind of resemble an A for America, but I didn't want to obviously cross it. There we go. Perfect. All right, that looks really good. So now we're gonna come in the corner here on the far side. So if you first walk in, that's the far wall. Go to the corner and come one in and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Skip a space and do the same thing, go up six. Okay, now we can go ahead and put our stairs right in the middle of that. Now we need that. Okay, put our stairs right in the middle of that. Go all the way up and come up one, two, like that. Okay, now if you want, this, okay, this is optional. We're gonna go ahead and take our stairs really quick though. Like I said, there's only two times you're really gonna need them. Okay, and then we're gonna put one, two, three, four, four chests. One, two, three, four chests. We're gonna put quartz slabs upside down right there. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and fill in with our white, make sure it's white. I mean, you can use quartz, but I like to use the, uh, the white concrete and just go all the way across, filling in the floor. Perfect. Now guys, if this is not light enough for you, cause it might be a little dark even with the lamps, what you can do is right now we're gonna do the floor. Okay, we're gonna use our three colors of carpet and actually we're also going to use our banners so what you can do is instead of putting the white concrete in those spots we can put down sea lanterns so i'll show you how that looks i didn't do it in any of the other thing in any of the other builds but so when you first walk in okay you have the five blocks in the front you're going to skip that space that end space go right here you can put down the concrete we'll lay down i mean put down the sea lanterns we'll lay down our flooring okay so that's how the pants are gonna look. And then we're gonna come up one, two, three. Well, this whole thing is gonna be filled in. Okay, so you could put it like that. So if you have to count, just count. And then we can go ahead and put our floor on top of it. All right, so we'll do his red boots first, right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and do his blue pants, which I actually messed up. That does not go there. I knew it didn't look right when I did it. Uh, yeah, we can put that there. I knew it did not look right, okay? Because his pants have to look like that. And then we're gonna come up uh, two with the stripes on either side like that. White down the middle, blue for his head, or for a head, and then red on the sides. So it's supposed to look like an A, but also keep his colors of his body. It kind of looks like uh, Optimus Prime, to be honest. But that'll also give you a lot more light in here that you otherwise do not have. And then I also didn't do this, but you can also add other decorations over here. You can put down, uh, you can put a red block up here just to get something going. Whatever you want to do. It doesn't really matter. I, I like this. I'm going to keep this for now. Let's go do the next floor. Okay, so for this floor, uh, what, oh, I need to get the beds. I knew there was something when I was getting the ingredients. I knew there was something I didn't get. So let me go get the three color beds. So we need uh, red, blue, and white. Let's just put them in order. So we're gonna go to the far wall. So here we have this first red stripe. I'm gonna come out to go red, white, and blue. <laughs> Pretty simple. And then in this corner right here on the floor, we're gonna put our end rods there. Same thing on this side. Our end rods there. Okay, and then we're gonna take our sea lanterns. Again, put it on top. You can just keep the end rods. I just think the sea lanterns look good with it. Perfect. Okay, now let's take our blue concrete. And actually, we'll do the far corner first, right above the beds. We're just gonna come here and we're gonna make an A. So we're gonna go all the way up. Then those three in the top, see how that looks? Go across. So we're basically just filling in all those gaps. Come all the way down with it. Okay, and then we're gonna come across uh, the top like that. Now you can go down here if you want. 
you can come over here if you'd like and do it that way perfectly fine i just like to take away any ability for mobs or anything like that to spawn and i like having that look like that plus what we're going to do here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take our banners now we, we actually don't need the beds anymore where's our banner right and red and we're just going to do the same thing so it's going to look really cool because they're going to contrast so on the white blocks right here we're going to put a red banner then on the red we're going to put white and then we're going to have blue <clears throat> and i think it makes excuse me i think it makes a little bit of an art statement i think it looks really nice with the contrast there a lot then we're going to go ahead and take our flower pot oops and put it right on top all three there one two three perfect okay now let's come to the right corner the the two corners are going to be the same and the two ends are going to be the same and we're going to come here and do the same thing we're going to go up four and we're just going to make our a and then we're going to cross it in the middle and again we're going to put our flower pots then the back above the stairs okay again we're going to come all the way up on the top just cover everything like so and again we're going to go like that okay and then what we're going to do i'll actually put the flower pots on top of the a one two three and now what we're going to do is we're going to take the quartz stairs we're going to put quartz stairs there quartz stairs there and then you can actually put a block here that's different color um i would suggest the red i thought the red looked cool popping out like that i mean you could do the blue but it's going to throw off the a okay and then we can just go ahead and put chests right in the corner there for some additional storage perfect now you can't put the chest here unfortunately because you can't open it uh so until we get like concrete slabs that's the best but you can put it on the sides of the bed just like that now you can also go ahead and put chests in a corner if you want because you can still open those because those are half slabs so i'll do that for for you guys for here uh but you don't have to okay you can also do it here i think yeah just not here because that that one you can't open so you can do it like there if you really want the additional storage you can go ahead and do that as well so we'll just put it there and there so we get a lot of storage in here okay and let's just finish up and then we can do our flowers so we'll get our flowers and we'll get this so we're gonna do the same thing on this wall come up with the three go across with the four oops cross it and then put our flower pots and then we're gonna go ahead and just do them in order oops let me just put it in order so it's easier we're gonna go red, white, blue. Same thing up here, all the flower plots, red, white, blue. I really just wanted to throw the whole American theme at you since it is Captain America house. Red, white, blue, perfect. Now we can go ahead and do our flooring and the inside of the house will be done. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. So right to the right where you first come in, skip that space, we're gonna go red there, red there, and we're gonna come up with the blue like that so make like a u like a little magnet look we're going to come up two for the stripes on the end white in the middle blue for the head and then two out this time for the arms to complete the optimus prime <laughs> aka captain america house all right and that is the whole outside the whole inside guys the whole house and the whole inside so if you don't want to do the outside there you go there's the house enjoy it uh, let me know what you think of it for everybody else let's go ahead and do the outside so first what we're going to do actually we need the poppies we don't need the carpet anymore we can take that that we don't need that sorry guys i'm just trying to figure out what we're going to need so i can uh, keep it organized i don't oh yeah we are going to need a little bit of soul sand um that's okay all right so i don't remember what i did in the other one but we're, what we're going to do here is we're going to break these two on either end of the red feet here that's where we're going to put our soul sand actually so I'll put our soul sand there okay and that's just for the nether wart just because it's red and it'll look really nice it looks really nice when it grows okay actually let's just make the perimeter first we're going to come all the way around okay we're going to come all the way around with the uh end stone bricks Okay, so that's all done. And then here you could just put whatever plants you want. I think I think I did the white in the front and the blue because you already have the red represented from uh, that. Oh, and also a door. 
completely forgot about a door. Just go ahead and put the door on. Boom. Um, right, we still need the install. Okay, cool. So now what we're gonna do is come up this way with it. So we have a gap of three. We're gonna take the end stone, go up just like this. Take it to the end where the blue is, so line it up with the blue. Do the same thing on this side. Okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and do is, I like to put down uh, nether brick underneath, but you can also use uh, the lanterns. So for the purposes of this video, I'll show you what it looks like, because I think in the opening I have the red underneath, the nether brick. You can put down lanterns or some kind of light source, and you're just gonna put one there. Okay, then that little gap. And then here, and then just trace the outline of the building. And that's just to give light outside. Now you can do also do creative things like hide one in the center of his hand. You know, you can also do that. That's kind of cool. Come this way. Okay, and then we're going to take our uh, acacia leaves and put it right on top. Now this kind of this kind of looks cool. It looks like a little bit of um, outdoor lighting. Um, let me just do the same thing on this side. Okay. So from the outside you can't really tell and then it's it's there, which I kind of like. Um, okay, so but you don't again you don't have to. You can also do it with you can also do it with this, or you could just keep the soul sand theme going all the way around. Completely fine. I'm just giving you guys options. Okay, and then for here we'll go uh, red and white for that. Same thing on this side. We'll go red and white. Okay. Now here we are in the back, uh, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring, you're gonna leave one little space, whoops, in each one. So we're gonna bring, extend that out this way. See how we're leaving, we're leaving one little uh, grass block next to it. That's what you're gonna do for the whole thing. Same thing on this side. Okay, you're just gonna leave one little grass block, and then you're just gonna come in here. You're gonna do blue on the end, and you do white and red. Same thing over here, you do blue on the end, and white, and red. Mix and match, do it however you want. I just like the whole feel to it. And actually on this side, get rid of this. I was just thinking maybe we should do another, maybe we should do another, uh, I, didn't, I don't think I did this before, but let's do this. Put some more nether wart here. So the whole side is nether wart on the front. Yeah, because we got, we got leaves, we got a lot of leaves on the side. Let's do some nether wart there. Okay, perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little bit of a design with the end stone. So we're just gonna skip a line and have little lines like this. And we're gonna do that four times. So that's one line, two, three, and then four. And then we're gonna come inside with the red nether brick where those lines are and just go like that. Okay, same thing on this side. All right, perfect. And now we're gonna find the center so over here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So this is the center. And we're gonna come in with it like that. Oops. And like that. Okay, now everything else is gonna be water. Again, you could do light underneath. I did not do that. You could go ahead and do that, but I'm gonna show you the way I did it. So I'm just gonna break all of this really quick and then I'm gonna put nether brick underneath. And then you're gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, now we're gonna take our buckets. Or well, you guys have buckets. I have a bucket. Because I'm in creative, one of the benefits. Go this way with it. And it should fill it out, yep. So just do the whole side, the whole perimeter, like that. And it should fill it up. Now we're gonna just add some touches of lily pads. We're gonna find the center, come out one, two, three. Go one, two, three. Actually skip it, do, on, do it on the fourth. So, and then we'll go diagonally. Or go out to one, two, and then go diagonally up three. Okay, and same thing. So we go one, two, three. Right there. Okay, same thing here. So we go one, two on the fourth one, one, two, like that. And I think the other one was right there. Something to that effect. And there you go, guys. That's it. That's the whole house. 
That's the whole build. I really, really like it. As you can see, I created a new world. I plan on doing a lot more of these houses. If I like them, I'll do a tutorial on it. If not, I'll, oh well, it'll be for me. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Give me some ideas if you want to see something. I could try it. Um, but that's all I got. Captain, I was out. Peace.